Oh, welcome back my gardening friends to a very, very sunny bank holiday Monday. Well, it's actually Saturday uh, the 28th, no, tw 29th, oh, nearly forgot the wedding anniversary guys, 29th, 33 years, ho oh, ho, how has she put up with me? Anyway, this is uh, the greenhouse on plot one, this is the rainwater guttering uh, gravity uh, fed system so I'll keep this barrel topped up when I top it up I turn the tap off so none of the silt goes down the pipe <coughs> excuse me and uh, blocks up that uh, little float and there's the guttering um, I've, it's quite a large guttering it's a funny shape it was free so this hasn't cost a lot these bags are the ones that we find um, on the side of the road full of compost so uh, we haven't had much out of here at the moment uh, marie's pepper chili i don't know the red ruffled is uh, growing well uh, joe long chilies i've been having those they're not too hot uh, i'm getting used to eating the uh, hotter things uh, some of my medium ones and then uh, it's these uh, here um, I've got these uh, we've got two here uh, one's a, a lemon and then one is uh, uh, a curry pepper but uh, yeah okay uh, tomatoes in the greenhouse and haven't succumbed to blight very very uh, very very bright uh, this morning and uh, there's no flowers on the uh, pomegranate bush so it might need a, a, a good prune at the bottom. I've got my lettuce everywhere and uh, I'm just trying it. I'm thinking, well, there's plenty of water there for them, never drying out. We'll see, we'll see. Closely planted. Uh, no melons from the um, melon, <laughs> of course. Uh, they haven't grown in here. Never mind. I had no time whatsoever to try and get the uh, trommel up and running and I had to uncover the uh, two year old leaf mould because of those high winds and my uh, neighbour's greenhouse. Uh, so it's all saturated now, but never mind. Uh, even though we've given those grapevines uh, a real good pruning, uh, they've gone ballistic again. So we'll let them be for now. The grapes aren't coming on very well this time, unusually, but they may be late, not sure. This weather has uh, helped some things and been hindrance to others. There's about another thousand litres of that compost, and I'll be using some of that on top of the, uh, the uh, brassica bed for the winter veg that we uh, have done uh, in a previous video. Just drop back and have a little look, don't forget. Check the comments out, see who's uh, commenting, commenting and who isn't. The sun seems to be playing havoc with that on the wrong side. The apples are looking good. I think these are um, a Braeburn. And uh, some are good, some are bad. But uh, they all boil down in an apple crumble. Well, the support system helped the sunflowers and as you've seen earlier and uh, that uh, bumblebee in the middle of the screen on that sunflower, he's still uh, harvesting uh, everything from there and the birds are having a great time. This is where I collected the uh, manure liquid from. I uh, forgot to uh, put the lid on. And these are my manure bins, now protected from the rain. Because of the lockdown, we haven't uh, got much uh, manure. And what manure we do have will be used in the bottom of the uh, pallet collar beds. And uh, it's a half an IBC. There's the IBC, there's the tap. And of course, it's bone dry. Oh, but we've got some liquid in there. And we just put that into uh, containers or that barrel, but hopefully I shan't have too much now. Uh, the raspberries uh, have been absolutely battered by the wind and uh, don't look very appetising. Some of them, some of them are okay. But uh, yes, I did try and uh, get a harvest every time it uh, did come to rain and the wind. 
but of course if they're not uh, not quite ready uh, what's the point excuse me they might have been battered but they didn't fall over with uh, these straps absolutely ideal um, the blackberry is now throwing out all its new shoots take your eye out that one will so need to get those tied in this one it will have to be uh, cut off because it's going in the wrong direction uh, a few finds i've got some more pallets these are the pallets i used to originally get now they've changed them to these but i like using these sort with the flat edges because they screw together really well uh, some wood chips in the, the bags there uh, all the potatoes that were up by there have all had the tops taken out and they've all been covered over with those um, blue tops or containers that i actually put them in to keep them watered and now they're actually stopping the water getting in so they don't rot we'll be doing a reveal of one of those very soon i will do a video about rhubarb leaf tea insecticide and how i got on here uh, but at the moment uh, i've been too busy with other things some more finds these uh, are like little plastic uh, barrels collecting plenty of water they're the uh, strawberry uh, cane uh, strawberry summer fruit in raspberry canes uh, my father's given me another sieve it just needs a little bit of wire in the middle to hold it together uh, some more guttering with fixings that'll help me out in the polytunnel on the rainwater guttering system so we move from plot one past plot two uh, into um, plot three and the birds still keep trying to uh, dig in and try and get into the uh, the fruit cage i removed the lock this morning i'm keeping the lock on for now because i've still got some uh, blueberries to pick a little bit overcrowded but uh, they'll get their pruning soon and uh, we've now taken out all the <coughs> old wood and uh, tied some of these in winds blew a few out but not too bad did it at the right time so basically there we have all the nice brand new shoots that have grew this year here are the old ones and uh, maybe right in the middle there are the uh, from the previous year and they normally just snap off but it's such a good plant they're not moving but that's how you uh, prune summer fruiting just leave them so high up and uh, next year you'll just be able to snap those off these must be a, a later variety of blueberries and they are actually uh, uh, a lot bigger uh, but it doesn't matter about the size but obviously you have to it takes you longer to pick the small ones excuse me but everything's looking nice green and fresh with all this rain we're having so the vertical gardening first time using it um, the New Zealand uh, spinach that was recommended by the Kiwi gardener Greg is doing better lower down than it is higher up now whether that's because it's me not watering properly or whatever but I've found that a lot of things higher up uh, haven't done as well so to counteract that uh, I've uh, put some rebar in the ground that gives it stability and then we'll loop it round and then we'll connect it to the top because originally we put that on just to stop the pigeons landing they love landing on top and picking everything off that's why I do the netting to the brassicas which we'll see shortly but other than that it looks uh, pretty good the lettuce seems to want to bolt this is the original chard we planted first of all keep hacking it back keep taking the fresh leaves there's quite a bit of rocket there I love the color of this um, the, the red lettuce difficult to see oh there we go uh, quick check over excuse me and uh, let's have a look at how the carrots have done can't leave them in the ground forever so uh, no not too bad we've got one fork there but nice sized carrot we'll uh, I'll take all those now 
granddaughter's here, so uh, she'll eat raw carrot, but not cooked, unless she mixes in with something else. But like I say, there's plenty there. Now these salad onions, these are the last lot that are planted, and they look so much better than these. Don't get me wrong, still a nice bulb on them. I'll put them out, I'll need, uh, need some more. I'll pull all that out. Um, I'm going to do something with the marker, or I shan't bother, because I think if you look at it, you know exactly what it is. The celery here is just going slightly going yellow, so this is another lot of celery. Um, so we've got the celery in there. This bucket here is acting like blanching. Um, so it's uh, Octavius. Um, and that, uh, that's stopped on. The, uh, these are the overwintering tomato challenges, uh, what I grew last, uh, saved last year. Uh, I need to get those off. Of course, these get the water, uh, and really they've had the water, and uh, not many have uh, actually split, but you pick them, put them in the fridge, and then they split, excuse me. Plant doesn't look very appetizing, but tomatoes do. Lettuce is bolted, just there. So, the <coughs> oh, that tomato's gone to the back of the throat. So this bed uh, was just an add-on. I run out of scaffold planks because we raised this up a little bit higher, so we could have a, it as a coal frame. A lot different to these beds, but this is all the spare soil. So we've used it as a permanent bed, and uh, I've never had so many big potatoes in my life, guys. I'm just wondering now whether I'll go back to putting them uh, in uh, back in the ground but it isn't the size it's the quality quality not quantity but so it's a no dig bed so basically I'm just using my hands to go down and uh, for, as soon as I feel a potato I uh, pop it up and any potatoes left behind will grow next year so I haven't got a blunt any which has got to me back in my throat guys now if you remember last year um, we were building these uh, beds. I started in about January, looking back on my playlists uh, and videos. And of course, we didn't have the four barrels here that I was planning for, and the four barrels over there that I was planning for. So this time, I'm making sure I've got plenty of water, and uh, I've used the extension cable to uh, bring the pump down, top that up. Uh, there's the uh, there's the pump and that can also be seen and it's quite a popular video that gets quite a few views uh, on the uh, my 12 volt 12 volt pumps that I use uh, that's the shallot bed I've uh, rejuvenated in a previous video added some lime top the beds up and then we'll use that spent compost that the cannabis growers unscrupulously dump uh, as as a mulch like we do on the other beds still got the bottle tops on so I'm still not sure what I'm doing with these beds I'm not going to hack these off until I know exactly what I'm doing with them keeping the bottle tops on so that we don't do any more damage to my body uh, the sweet corn are really trying hard guys it's never going to grow but uh, nature will always find a way but the Swedes did okay in this bed now I'm just looking at the time and uh, I'm going to maybe uh, have to cut this video in half if I don't hurry up so uh, happy gardening to you all and uh, there'll be part two if not and this video uploads in one we'll carry on dwarf kale again growing like mad uh, beans, peas, got all the beans saved now, picking the last few off, so a lot have gone to seed, it's been one of those years. Um, the Cheeky Prince squash from um, Richard and Paul and Kelly's Kitchen Garden, growing well, not sure when to pick that. Here's the nets guys to stop the pigeons flying in, uh, whether one's got in here, you can see the telltale signs. Uh, they've nipped the edge. Sprouts, I'm going to be picking my first sprouts soon, guys. Look at these. William Coleman, 
Look at my spread. But I hope they don't go too far. Uh, once the sprouts are formed, if you actually completely take the top out, you can eat that, as long as it isn't damaged. Uh, then the sprouts I found don't blow. We've opened this up. Uh, rhubarb's uh, growing well. Again, checking the time. Now, this is the purple sprouting broccoli. Uh, again, the net's there to stop anybody landing in. Not too fussed about uh, caterpillars and then the uh, near dear dear to toro kale sun loves that gets it in the blender uh, phil sent me some uh, giant uh, ulcer onions uh, going well but not not as big as what we'd want excuse me them tomatoes have got to me guys but never mind and uh, the tomatoes there gone a bit leggy uh, parsnip, let's uh, get me parsnip out guys, I need one today. Yeah, what a whopper. Come on parsnip. Oh dear. But uh, yeah, that looks uh, nice and clean. Uh, I've been harvesting some of the carrots here in this bed that got the motley dwarf virus spread by the uh, carrot willow aphid. Uh, obviously this one's not going to be any good rotten but i have had some decent carrots you can see what happens when you leave the collars on they do get a bit but i've had some decent carrots at this bed um, and i've been taking them uh, as as and when but uh, they they're not too bad they're not too bad really uh, quite pleased with them so uh, we'll uh, we'll have those away today parsnips uh, they look absolutely brilliant they're just getting enough water i think now this is the other celery the celery is planted at this level and now we're we're up here um let's just quickly lift this up i'm running out of time i don't want to do two videos because not everybody watches both but i haven't touched any of those they're doing well this is the harvest that we did the reveal they were rubbish and the uh the radishes uh, they're doing really well. I'll take a harvest of those. These aren't looking too bad. Um, I'm going to turn around because of the sun. But this is the last sowing of the sweet candle. And look at those. And that bit of cardboard there was to stop any spores getting across. Well, I wasn't sure whether it was blight, whether it was this carrot, willow, aphid, spreading its germs. But these will all be covered next year fully. So the, I thought the carrot fly wouldn't get in. And then we got the bloody carrot, willow, aphid. The uh, Jerusalem artichokes have suffered slightly. They've been blown right over. The small potato challenge and the tomatoes. I'm going to do a reveal on those very soon now. They're just starting sh to show signs of uh, uh, something. It hasn't got to any further, so I'll keep a close eye on that and then we'll do a reveal on that. The potatoes are even coming out the top and that was just from a pea-sized potato. Similar to a volunteer we leave in the ground. Wildlife area under my uh, long bean structure, doing okay. Volunteer sunflower look. <laughs> oh, the mice have been busy. This is the result, I'll make sure there's no wasps on that, of uh, the wasps uh, and flies uh, stripping the grapes. 